BruceDude.com. When I was in fourth grade, my uh, my school had a bomb threat. I guess somebody just called the office and was like, Hey, hey, I got a bomb! I got a bomb and I'm gonna blow this mother up! You better watch it! Which is not something a lot of elementary schools like to hear. And I can remember just sitting there in the morning, just, uh, just daydreaming about uh, whatever fourth graders daydream about. I wonder if the wonder Red if Power the Ranger Red could Ranger beat up my beat dad. Up my dad. <laughs> And our teacher gets off the phone with the office, and he's like, All right, everybody just calm down. There's a little bit of confusion in the building, but I'm sure everything will be just fine. Ah! Oh my god, there's a bomb in the building! We're all gonna die! Ah! Uh, any questions? So, at this point, you could practically smell all the poop in everybody's pants. We got kids raising their hands, asking questions. Uh, Mr. Jones, do you think it'll hurt when we get blown up into a million tiny pieces? And I didn't really know what to expect at first. You know, I'm nine years old. I'm picturing like an old-fashioned bowling ball bomb from old cartoons. I'm going around checking the fucking coat room like, uh, it's probably that goddamn Minor 49er. He keeps giving Scooby-Doo a lot of troubles. And at this point, everybody's talking about this bomb threat. We're on the goddamn news. We got teachers on top of the building doing smoke signals. And all of a sudden, I realize everybody's parents are picking them up from school. Kids are disappearing left and right all around me. And I'm sitting there like, man, I got a sneaking suspicion I'm going to get fucked here. Where the hell are my parents at? Well, my dad's probably at work, but my mom, my mom's probably in the living room right now doing fucking aerobics. Just totally oblivious to the shit that's going down right now. Meanwhile, the goddamn Goodyear blimps circling around the city, letting everybody know that their kids are about to get blown up to smithereens. So I figured, to hell with it. I'm just gonna leave. There's a goddamn bomb in the building. Who cares? Where the hell do you think you're going? Uh, I figured I'd just take off. Oh, no, you don't. Did your parents sign a permission slip for you to leave? Um, no, but I'm pretty sure they didn't sign one for me to get blown the fuck up either. So I'm stuck there, and an hour goes by, and there's four of us left in the entire fourth grade we got uh, we got weirdo Julie Christopher the biggest idiot in the school attention deficit Zachary and of course myself just what I was hoping for today hanging out with a team of mutants and uh, and a slight chance of getting murdered sweet we're all just staring at each other hey why are you still here uh, probably because my parents don't love me what about you so since they can't let us go home they just keep us in this room and they put on a movie Oh, sweet, we get to sit here and watch fucking All Dogs Go to Heaven. Yeah, I'm sure that'll take my mind off of death. Mr. Jones, I got a question. I know all dogs go to heaven, but do all fourth graders go too? Oh, Chris. I guess we'll find out soon enough now, won't we? Now shut up, you're scaring the shit out of all your friends. This was by far the longest day of my nine-year-old life. I spent the whole day just sitting there, writing my last will and testament. All right, I'll leave my sweet Barry Sanders poster to David. And my holographic Charizard will go to... Eh, fuck it. Nobody's getting my goddamn Charizard. I'm gonna get buried with that son of a bitch. When I finally got home from school, my parents still didn't know what the hell was going on. Hey! Guess where I've been all goddamn day! Um, at school? Well, yeah. But you're lucky I didn't get my ass blown up by a bomb in class. What? What are you talking about? Oh, no! Fuck you guys! I'm gonna go in my room and watch Speed Racer until I feel like coming back out. Why don't you go jazzercise some more, Mom, with your unassuming ass?